Now, if you all stand and join us in the Pledge of, Pledge of Allegiance. Oh, oh, that's it. Sorry. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I try to steal the thunder of those two, and I, I could never keep up with that. Um, at this time, I'd also like to ask uh, Council, and not only is City Council uh, uh, Linda Pereira, not only is she uh, a, a council, but is she, she is our advocate. You can sit down, please. Sit down. Um, uh, she is uh, a veterans advocate, and I'd like her to say a couple of words. Oh, the national anthem. I get ahead of myself. Please. She was it. See, they did it to me again. They jumped me. All right, let's have the national anthem. Please, everybody, stand. Please, and stand remove again. Your cover. Yeah. Stay remove up and your down. cover. All right. I'm <laughs> Thank you. Have a seat. Now, I got a little ahead of myself. Now I'm going to ask our, our Grand Marshal this year is a, is a, a person that I I, uh, I I don't I can't believe I've been around this long and he hasn't been our Grand Marshal yet. And Grand Marshal is kind of rhymes right in there. I'd like to bring forward our Grand Marshal this year, Mr. Joe Marshall. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. I won't tell you how I got here. Uh, what, what is Veterans Day? It's an opportunity to express thanks and appreciation to the brave men and women who have ser served in the military. It's a day to remember the sacrifices they made to protect our country and our freedom. It also serves as a reminder of the importance of peace, the gratitude we owe to those who served, and the obligation to support veterans in need. It's a debt that everyone would gladly pay if history ended differently and our military not fought in World War I, World War II, Vietnam, Korea, Afghanistan, and those wars that we have yet to fight. Veterans are not a class of people. They are you and I. They're just a group who just happen to give a portion of their life to firstly, firstly to keep the country and its citizens safe, and secondly, to help other countries taste freedom. Many people, and I, I think my veteran friends, many people have said to me, thank you for your service. And my reply is, I was proud to serve. Thank you.
this time, I'd like to ask uh, State Representative Carol Fiola and the Honorable Mayor Paul Coogan to make a special presentation. Oh, and also, our great Senator Mike Rogers. Thank you. Thank you, Charlie. Give me a second here, if you will. Uh, such an honor to be here today with um, everyone. A special thanks to the Durfee High School Marching Band. They were fabulous, weren't they? And uh, yeah, let's give it up for them. The Young Marines, always a wonderful presence in, uh, in our community. Of course, with all my colleagues here, you know that serve every day in the city of Fall River. And uh, please give them a big round of applause because they are so special too. But today I came uh, for a special presentation. I first want to thank all of you veterans here today. Um, all the Gold Fan Star families. It's always very special to have you here as well. But I'm especially honored to be here as we recognize a Vietnam veteran who has not been given all of the recognition that he deserves. Over the past 10 years as a state representative and all my colleagues from time to time visit places around the city and get to meet so many interesting people. Everyone has a story. I've met so many people at senior centers, the housing developments, out in the community. And for most of those years, a particular resident's incredible life has slipped under the radar. That is until this past May when I learned of Mr. Charles Norman Gagnon's time in the Vietnam War and a medal that he had earned but had never received. Working alongside and with Congressman Auchincloss's office, who could not be here today, we were able to track down the service of Mr. Gagnon, and I was able to track down his medal. But before I tell you about this medal, let me first tell you about Charles and his service to our country that earned him such high recognition. Charles Norman Gagnon, and for you sitting here today, it, he's a very humble man, absolutely does not want to be highlighted, but please keep your eyes on him because he's a great man and a very, uh, it's very important. Um, he served for three years in the United States Army from 1963 to 1966 after training specifically in helicopter repair. After arriving in Vietnam in 1963, Charles quickly became a crew chief, flying over 225 assault combat flights for 12 to 16 hour shifts, seven days a week for a span of nine months. His commitment to our country is reflected in the nine ear medals Charles earned during this time, of which he is most proud. After his tour in Vietnam, Charles returned to the US to finish his years in service, and in January of 1965, just three months shy of the Vietnam War ending, Charles received news that he received a medal for his courageous work in December of 1964, where he helped lead a decisive victory over the Viet Cong. This work earned him the highest award that could be bestowed upon an individual from the armed forces of the Republic of Vietnam, an award that he was yet to receive until today, almost 58 years later. Thank you, Charles, for your service. Thank you. We're not done yet. During this time, Charles has lived a very full life. He has worked as an aircraft repairman at the Newport Navy Base, repaired boats at a marina in Portsmouth, Rhode Island, been a business owner and his own boss, and even completed an associate's degree in business. He has worn many hats, some of those being husband, father of nine children, some of which are here today, crew chief, and Vietnam veteran. Before presenting this award, I would like to read the letter as received by Charles on January 19, 1965. Specialist Fourth Class Gagnon is a brave and courageous soldier who assisted the government of Vietnam forces in achieving a decisive victory over the Viet Cong during Operation Zan Chi 100-SD conducted on the 27th of December, 1964, near Da Nai, Republic of Vietnam. 
Specialist Fourth Class Canyon performs his duties as crew chief aboard a UH-1B helicopter in an outstanding manner while transporting Vietnamese Helleborn soldiers to battle. With personal pleasure, I forward this award from the Armed Forces of the Republic of Vietnam. I wish to express my congratulations to you for your outstanding performance of duty that has won you this honor. As your commanding officer, I commend you on receiving the Vietnamese Cross of Gallantry with Palm. This is the highest award that can be bestowed upon an individual by the Republic of Vietnam, and you can be justly proud to receive it. Today, November 11, 2023, almost 58 years later, I am honored to present you, along with Mayor Coogan, please step up, Senator Rogers, Representative Sylvia. Representative Schmidt. Representative Schmidt, please join us. In front of your friends, family, uh, present you with the Vietnamese cross in front of your friends, family. Where did it go? Oh, thank you. <laughs> I was like, where did it go? <laughs> Mr. Ganyan, thank you. Where are you for your service? Please join us. Please stand, please stand and acknowledge Mr. Gannon. And this is the award. My part, I've gone on long enough, but it was well worth it, Mr. Gannon. Um, my colleagues from the, from the House of Representatives, first of all, on behalf of myself, Representative Paul Schmidt, Representative Al Alan Sylvia, themselves fine veterans, who I'm honored to serve along, especially today on Veterans Day. Uh, we have this citation for you, presented to Specialist Fourth Class Charles Norman Gannon in recognition of your brave and courageous work in the Vietnam War as crew chief and for receiving the Vietnamese Cross of Gallantry with Palm, signed by our Speaker of the House, Ron Mariano, on this day, November 11th, 2023. Uh, thank you for your service. I'll put that down on your You want to hold it? You got it? You sure? Okay, Charles, stay right there, please. <laughs> Uh, that was truly a great story, but it was a story about his life, and that's how he lived. And these are the people that we don't recognize enough for what they did for our country. And as mayor of the city of Fall River, I'm extremely pleased to be able to come here today and join all of you, and we're all on the, in the same boat today to honor Charles Gannon and in honor and recognition of his receiving the Vietnamese Cross of Gallantry with Palm from the Armed Forces of the Republic of Vietnam in 1963. It's a day that was put off for far too long, and I tip my hat to Charles and all his efforts for this country. Thank you very much. Um, on behalf of the State Senate, I also have a citation recognizing Charles' accomplishments, and it's signed by the Honorable Karen E. Spilka, President of the State Senate. But let me just say, standing here, I'm thinking, you know, being Veterans Day on television, they're replaying that amazing series called The Band of Brothers. And there's an opening scene in one of the episodes where Lieutenant Dick Winters uh, was being interviewed, and he relays the story of his grandson asking him, Grandpa, were you a hero? He goes, no, I wasn't a hero, but I served amongst many of them. And today I say, we're standing in the presence of a real hero. Charles, thank you for your service. Mr. Gannon, can we ask you to say a few words? Uh, just, just if you'd like. I know you're here. I know this was 
against everything you wanted to see happen. But, um, and before you do, though, I do want to let you know that Congressman Auchincloss could not be here today. Um, he himself is a veteran in the Marines, and he wanted to present this citation from the United States House of Representatives uh, in recognition of, and I need my glasses, Charles Canyon, um, in recognition of your receiving the Republic of Vietnam gallantry, of course, with Palm Medal for your selfless dedication and service to your country on this date, November 11th, signed by Jay Garkin Claus. So, someone else. Someone else. Someone else. I don't know that, and I, and I don't know it is a medal of honor. He asked me if there was anyone else who ever got this award, and um, I, I'm not sure um, how many people have, Mr. Ganya, and we can find that out, but today is your day, and uh, we are grateful and honored on behalf of all of the City of Fall River representatives and city councilors and school committee people here today. Um, I gotta tell you, 10 years I'd go to where he lives in, uh, in his housing, and you know, like we all do, everyone here goes and visits and brings food and snacks and pizza and because we want to hear from the people who live in the city of Fall River on a regular basis. And he was quiet as a church mouse every single year. He'd sit there, he'd eat the pizza or eat the donuts or whatever we brought. And then one day he walked downstairs, he, he said, wait a minute, while we were there, and went up and came down with his, his papers and he said, hmm. Can you do anything about this? And thanks to a lot of good people, we did. So it's your day. You'd like to say a few words. Thank you. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> City Council President Joe Bernard. Thank you, Karen. I also want to thank everyone for being in. What a wonderful day, isn't it? To be in the presence of a true hero. Someone that we hear about all the time, but how many people actually get to see someone who served the country as he did? So from the bottom of my heart, I don't want to go on too much, but thank you so much for what you did for our country, as all the veterans have. Keeping not only this country safe, but as was mentioned earlier, saving the rest of a lot of other places in the world. We are there for everyone. Thank you so much for what you do. We appreciate it. To all the veterans, thank you so, so much. Thank you, Karen. He said he was just doing his job. Spoken like a true hero. City Council Linda Perard is the veteran liaison, and uh, she has a few words. Well, this was most enjoyable. I was delighted to see this. So today we honor all of our veterans who placed their lives in danger for our freedom. They left their families, their homes, their lives. They fought to protect our country, for our freedom, to maintain our way of life. Let's also honor those who are presently serving in the military. When I look at the cruel world around us, I say to myself, we can protect our freedoms by maintaining it here in America. Speaking out against injustice and making sure that everyone benefits from freedom. By volunteering in our communities, by teaching our children what it is to be an American. Listen to the words we just said on the Pledge of Allegiance. One nation, one nation under God. What do you think God's thinking about us now? It says, with liberty and justice for all. Do we all have the same liberty and justice? This is why veterans fought for our freedom. Honor our veterans. Honor them by being good Americans. 
Today is a day that we honor all of our veterans, but they should be honored every single day. So when you see a veteran who's wearing a cap, like many here, with the branch of service that they were in, by God, can't you just say thank you? My dad was a veteran, and he died, and this was his hat. And when he died, the only thing my daughter Shelly wanted was his hat. Because he taught us in our family what it meant to be a veteran. So please, honor our veterans by being good Americans. God bless you all, and may God bless the United States of America. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, I, I, I have to say that uh, just being in the presence of Mr. Gagnon is uh, an honor in itself. Um, and I'm speechless over that. But um, I, I'd like at this time to, to just uh, recognize uh, um, some of the elected officials that are here with us today in um, with the uh, uh, City Council President, uh, Mr. Joe Camara. Um, you just heard from uh, Councilor Linda Pereira, uh, Councilor Laura Washington, and also uh, Councilor Andrew uh, Raposo. Also we have with us is school committee uh, uh, members, uh, Shelley uh, Pereira and uh, Tom Corey. Um, I told, I stole it from um, Again. I'd also like to make sure we acknowledge our Gold Star families who are here with yes. us today. Uh, they, for sure, deserve a few minutes on this day for us to reflect on their families and the loss that they've suffered. So I just want to take a minute and acknowledge them. You can have it back now. Thank you. Uh, one heck of a team right here. <laughs> um, so with that being said, at this time, I would like to bring up Reverend Stinson with our closing prayer, please. I invite you to join me in the spirit of prayer. O oh Lord, creator and protector of us all, do not let our appreciation and love for the sacrifices of our warriors end with our ceremonies today. Grant them your continued blessing. Give them your protection in the way they once extended their protection to our nation when it called for their service. Instill in them the honor and joy of service well given from a grateful people. And grant us all your heavenly resolve, not only to honor those who have borne the battle, but to make our world a place worthy of receiving the sacrifices that our warriors have laid down for it. Having borne witness to such great love and service today, do not let us forget small deeds done are greater than big plans made. And challenge us with your vision, not of how the world is, but how it might be, and how the streets of Fall River may mirror your heavenly city. As we depart, send your traveling mercies to go with us all, Remembering always, whatever light we may shine, whatever righteousness we may live out, whatever good comes, it all comes from you. For this we pray, in the name of all that is holy. Amen. At this time, Mr. Larry Barola. We'll lead with Taps in Jiffy High School Band, member Omar Mahmoud. Please stand.
Now we will have a white dove release provided by Doves by Paula. And that will conclude our service, for, our, our ceremony for today. Excuse me. Oh, oh, that's, oh, that's certainly going to be outside. If we release here, uh, the, the, then you'll see the vice principal reenact it again, and I'm in trouble. Okay. So I would like to thank everybody for attending. Like I said, it was a, this was the best uh, uh, ceremony I've seen in quite some time. Thank you, everybody. Yes, outside. How much attention would I get?